Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in our channel. Today we are going to discuss everything regarding the Deloitte NLA exam pattern. In my previous video, I have mentioned regarding the biggest hiring of 2024. This is going to be one of the best mass hiring that 2024 going to happen. So if you are from 2024 batch, make sure to apply for this hiring as soon as you are seeing this video. And even if you are not from 2024 batch, make sure to share this with 2024 batch candidates because they are going to get very few opportunities and 90% or 80% at least candidates of them are still not placed yet and no mass hiring recruiters are hiring for them uh, only TCS is doing for some previous colleges uh, pre only TCS is doing some for some partnered colleges or priority colleges now Deloitte finally uh, announcing their NLA 3.0 for uh, BEB Tech MCA candidate for 2024 batch so you can check my previous video for applying and is in this video we are going to discuss regarding the detailed exam pattern and also going to the detailed format of the exam and how to prepare syllabus everything so before moving on if you are new to the channel make sure to click on the subscribe button and join our telegram group for any discussions also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post different different hiring drives every day we also post regarding exam patterns onboarding updates in every it news so if you don't want to miss them make sure to click on the bell icon so let's see what is the exam details so Deloitte Consulting NLA Hire Pro Test this is for engineering track exam the test duration is going to be 90 minutes and number of question will be 65 MCQ and 2 uh, coding questions ok so 2 codings live programming and 65 MCQ there will be a fully proctored using video and audio will be there test summary the test is divided into 5 sections ok test will be in 5 sections each section uh, you will get dedicated time duration ok for each session there will be a dedicated time if uh, one section's time runs out you will be moved to the next section and once uh, you are moving forward to the next section you will not be able to come back to the previous section ok so the 5 section will present 4 varieties of questions and explain below First is the language skill or English skill. This section will consist of 10 MCQ and 3 fill in the blanks type question and they will evaluate your English knowledge and English uh, understanding skills. Okay, uh, the, it will be consisting of English vocabulary, grammar, sentence construction, sentence arrangement and overall, or, and overall language comprehension. So this is the syllabus for the English part. Next is general aptitude. In this general aptitude, there are two subsections basically reasoning ability and quantitative ability. So there will be 12 MCQ from reasoning and 10 MCQ from quants. Okay. So the section will evaluate your general cognitive skills, reasoning skill, and also your ability to work with data. And uh, because there will be data-based questions from quant uh, quantitative ability, and there will be your reasoning or skills or cognitive skills ability from reasoning ability. Few questions will be based on common premise and will appear in a sequence. So there might be one particular uh, scenario given and from that scenario 2-3 questions might come. Some questions may involve basic numerical calculations as well. So uh, it is advisable to keep pen and paper before giving the exam. Next is technical MCQ. Technical MCQ will consist of 30 questions. Okay. This section will consider what type of syllabus you can uh, prepare for, for this section. So there will be basically uh, they will check your knowledge in testing computer science networking and cyber security and cloud computing so you can uh, check in google like top 100 mcqs for these particular sections and go and prepare those then you will be fine to go for it okay this section will also evaluate your programming and acumen and programming language capabilities and chosen programming language so there might be some questions based on error detection so there might be some codes, code snippet given they will ask you to choose uh, the error part or they might ask you to complete the code uh, snippet and give some options or they might give some uh, pseudo code and they might ask you some outputs as well so the next and the final part is going to be technical skills that is coding so this will have one live coding nugget and one live programming questions this uh, the programming questions both will evaluate your knowledge of programming languages and your ability to write uh, syntactically correct code while programming questions additionally evaluate your logical thinking and problem solving skills as well you will need to write uh, code using an online editor that will be provided to you and you can use any programming language of your choice okay the programming languages uh, will include c c++ java c sharp python 
you will be able to evaluate your code by using compile and execute and you can uh, if the code compiles successfully then you can see how many hidden test cases it is running or passing or failing okay so the based on the number of test cases or the number of hidden test cases it passes you will be evaluated okay so suppose there are 15 hidden test cases for a code and you are passing 10 of them so you will be getting uh, only two third of the marks for that particular questions the first version of a code you submit will, uh, the last version of the code you submit will be comprehended or considered as your final version of for evaluation so whatever the code you submit at the end that is going to be considered for your final evaluation so that's it if you have any query you can uh, comment down or you can join our telegram and ask there also so that's it